In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to find a quick 2x2 two two inverse, and then we're going to use it to solve the same regression problem from the last screencast. So here we have a matrix, and I want to multiply by its inverse to get out the identity 1001. So what is the inverse? Well, the inverse can be found by using the determinant. The determinant of this matrix is AD minus BC. And then if I interchange the A and the D and change the sign on the C and the B, Will this provide me with the inverse? The simple way to check is let's just do the multiplication. So if I take the AC, BD, and multiply by this 1 over AD minus BC, and then the D, oh, I need to change the signs, then what do I get? Well, this becomes AD minus BC. AD minus BC. This becomes minus. BA plus BA. This becomes CD minus CD and then minus CB plus AD. Well, hold on. If I divide all that by AD minus BC, out pops the identity 1001. So the simple way to find the inverse, flop these, interchange the sign on those, divide by the determinant, period. That's how you find inverses for two by twos. How can I use that? Well, in the regression problem we did in the last unit, we wanted to pass through the points, these three points up here. So we have y equals a naught plus a1x, and we want to try and pass through those points. So we plug them in, we put in 0, and we get a naught plus a1 times 0, and that pops 3. We put in negative 3, a naught plus a1 times negative 3, and out pops 0. We put in 2, a naught plus a1 times 2, and out pops negative 1. This turns into a matrix equation where we have a 1, 1, 1, a 0, negative 3, 2, and then I'm going to multiply. The first column was the a naught column, the second was the a1 column, and that equals 3, 0, negative 1. Well, there is no inverse to this matrix, but remember from the last section we said, oh, let's multiply by the transpose. So the idea is I multiply both sides by the transpose of A. Here is A. I'm going to multiply both sides by its transpose. So let's just write that out. We've got 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 2, times 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 2. We've got our A naught, our A1, and that needs to be, if I multiply on the left on one side, I better do the same thing over here. 0, minus 3, 2, and then I've got the 3, 0, negative 1. So we perform the multiplication. On this side, we end up with a 3, a negative 1, a negative 1, and a 13. And then we have an a naught, a 1. On this side, we end up with a 2 and a negative 2. That's the same thing we got from the last section. Now we're going to multiply by the inverse. So first, I need the inverse of that matrix. Well, its inverse is, that's 39 minus 1 is 1 over 38. That's the determinant. And then I've got to switch these two, 13 and 3 switch, and then change the signs on those. So now I'm going to multiply both sides. Actually, I need to multiply. We're going to multiply this thing by the inverse. So if I take the 1 over 38, the 13, 1, 1, 3, and multiply it by 2, negative 1, or sorry, 2, negative 2, out comes. 26 minus 2 is 24. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Don't forget the 1 over 38. And this simplifies to become 12 nineteenths and negative 2 nineteenths, which gives us the solution a naught is 12 nineteenths and a1 is 2 nineteenths. And notice a1 should be times by x. And that's our solution. That completes this.